Hey, I'm Kez Bracey. This is Tuts Plus. Welcome to Figma Image Tips. When you drag and drop an image into Figma, what actually happens is a rectangle is created and this image is set as that rectangle's fill. So that means that when you want to modify the settings of an image that you've added into Figma, you actually need to modify the fill. So you see the fill over here. It tells you that that has an image fill. You can click on this little area here to open up the fill properties. And this is where you can start to modify how this image is going to work. By default, this is set to fill, which means that when I change the size of this rectangle, the image is just going to fill the rectangle up as best it can. If I change that to fit, now the image is not going to be cropped. It's just going to make sure that the entire image fits whatever size the parent rectangle turns out to be. We can also choose crop. And then that will make the image behave a little bit more like you would expect from most other applications where the height and width of the image is just modified by the drag handles at the corner. And then finally, we also have tile. You can change how the image tiles itself throughout the parent rectangle. To import a whole set of images from a directory, all you need to do is drag and drop that folder into the Figma interface. And then all of the images will be automatically imported for you. You can help to streamline importing and placing images by setting up some frames that are going to hold and crop those images. Then hitting the keyboard shortcut Control Shift K, or that'll be Command Shift K if you're on Mac. Click somewhere on the canvas to kick off the process. Then select all of your images in the file prompt that appears, hit open. Now click wherever you want those images to be placed. Wherever you click is going to be the center of the image. So then I can place all of my images inside each one of these frames. You can see the blue lines showing you where the actual borders of the images are and they're cropped by the frames that they've been dropped into. So that's three tips to help you when you're working with images in Figma. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.